Yeah, I suppose it'll be custom to a <laughs> in a certain sense. Uh, got a faint glimmering of an idea of how to make this work. Man, that bed looks like it's sitting up awful high, but it actually is. If I might get you underneath here, I'll show you what's going on. Ah. Okay. So, these up there, there's two more. There's the one. And you can probably just see the other one peeking out there. Those are planks of oak that I milled out. I cut them down to three and a half wide. And I can't exactly explain why I'm going this way. It just kind of seems like it'll be better. It, I'm going kind of by intuition or something, you know. Uh, but anyhow, you got these cross members and each point where the cross member intersects the frame, I'm gonna punch a hole through, except maybe this one right there. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, zap. That one is laying right on a swoopy part of the frame, you know? And I'm not sure how to go about dealing with that. Anyhow, I'm gonna punch a, punch a hole through the bed, the cross member, and the frame. And then I'm gonna drill a hole into the top of the bed and put a bushing down in there that goes clear to the bottom of the cross member. And I'll weld those in. And then I can crank them bolts right down without worrying about uh, crushing the cross member. I'll do that on all of them, like I said, except for that one. And the bed will be mounted at eight points. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how it came from the factory or not, but that's what it's gonna be. Uh, my only little thing is I gotta figure out what to do back in here back here because that's not a regular cross member i'm not sure what i'll do there but i'll figure something out that's i just don't want it waffling i mean the bed will be on there good and solid and that's my main concern secondary concern is keeping the bed from getting like distorted and stuff but that ain't gonna prevent me from hauling coal if, if the if there's a few swoops in the in the bed. Uh, I'm just waiting on some bolts, various sizes. Uh, most of them are six inch bolts. Gonna be half inch diameter, grade eight, or maybe grade ten, whatever I get. Uh, I don't. I was hoping to get carriage bolts in there, but I don't know if they'll have them. Uh, for the most part, though, it looks like the bolt heads are going to land in these valleys instead of being up top. So I shouldn't even have much trouble with them shoveling out coal. Uh, I suppose that's it. Take care.